Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and we're Green Acre Homestead. Welcome back to the Soap Shack. And what are we gonna do in today's video? What are we gonna drag them along for? We are going to set up my workstation, my computer workstation, office work, whatever you wanna say. This area. And we're gonna put in the first of the customized shelves that you have made. Custom, like custom, custom shelves? Uh-huh. First of many, did I hear? Yes, I need several more. Oh, well, it's a good thing I like work. <laughs> Let's go. Let's Wait, go. Well, oh. I got in trouble because I said that last time. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, okay, so. Let's go. <laughs> Good enough for state work. Now we can go ahead and start assembling the computer workstation, which is pretty basic. It's monitor, keyboard, mouse, and computer. We have printers and other things, but we don't they're gonna think they're gonna go here on top of the desk. We think we're gonna put them on the shelf over there, but we'll see how things come together. So Angela is going to close up the shellac canister, and I said, wait a second, I got you something. Show them what I got you. It is a bucket opener, because the buckets out here, when they're cold, they are really hard to open. They are terribly hard. Like, I have difficulty. So, he got me a bucket opener, and it's also a bucket closer. Yep. I don't know if it was smart or not, but I got one that's a hammer included, and it's solid metal. So, I guess I just bought my own disciplinary tool to keep me in check, huh? Knock. The shellac is all dry and it's time that we can go ahead and start setting up Angel's computer desk workstation thing. She's in the house. I asked her if she wanted to come out and be a part of this and she's kind of like boring. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and set up her workstation for her and then we'll do something else fun after that. So here is the monitor that we have. This is an old used one that we've had around the place. We got it, I don't know, a long time ago. Still works, still fine. And then here is the actual computer itself. This is what's known as a micro PC, although there are smaller ones now. There are much, much smaller ones. But this is a small form factor, still a full computer, still a Windows 10 machine. And what it's going to do is mount here behind the monitor. These are sometimes also called thin clients, although not to get too geeky, this kind of shows my prior life professional world. Thin clients don't have an operating system hard drive and they're not full-blown machines. They're basically gateways that connect you to other machines, usually servers, and that's where you do the computer stuff on. So that being said, you might be wondering why in the world do I care about a thin client? Well, if you see this box here, it says thin client mount, and you might be wondering why or what that means. That's kind of the reason why. What this is, is a bracket that will mount to the monitors Visa mount screws or Visa mount screws. It's basically threaded holes on the back of most modern monitors that allow you to mount them to the wall or an arm or something. Kind of like how most TVs nowadays have them. Well, this bracket mounts to the monitor and then the computer will sit inside of it and it keeps everything nice and tidy, fully mounted and supported and off the desk for a lot cleaner look in the end. So the first thing to do is go ahead and mount this bracket or mount to the monitor. A lot of M's there. So this little bracket comes with its own seat belt 
and this is to put on here like this and you kind of strap the computer to it so it doesn't fall off. I think I'll be able to fish this through once the bracket's already on the monitor. So we'll go ahead and put this part on the screen first. Now we'll go ahead and mount this belt back here and I'll leave it like that for now. All right, we'll go ahead and put the PC on the mount here and I've got it where the front of the machine points to the right because as this stand sits here at the desk, you'll be able to see and reach the right side of the screen best for turning the machine on and off. It just sits in place there and then this little bracket slides down and kind of squeezes it and hugs it in place. It doesn't have to be super, super tight because ideally this won't see a lot of stress and movement but you definitely use the strap to make sure it is buckled up. There we go. Still can move around, can slide out if need be, but otherwise it is a secure mount and will work well. Next thing I wanna do is go ahead and hook up the power supply, connect the monitor and everything to the PC and button it up and make it a little bit prettier as far as cable management. Club for safety. I'm gonna go ahead and set up and open up the keyboard and mouse that I got for Angela. She kind of has a white and stainless or silver theme going on in here. So when I picked out her keyboard and mouse, I chose one that is kind of kind of white and aluminum. It's a nice little wireless keyboard. It is a full size, so it does have the number pad because she'll use that for general usages. But otherwise, pretty streamlined. Hopefully it works. It wasn't too crazy expensive, although it also wasn't the cheapest model. So I think it'll be nice and it should work good. The mouse is pretty sleek as well. It's a white with silver inlay. It is a three button mouse with scroll wheel. So, I mean, honestly, nowadays with peripheral technology, computers and mice are all pretty good across the board. So it should be fine for her uses. And if not, we can always get another one. fish all this down in the corner so when I made this desk I cut a corner off back here so that we'll have a place to run the wires that way we would have to drill a hole or have the wires running around the edge kind of makes it a lot cleaner it's not big enough for this power brick to go through are you sure um ah oh, it's just a hair bit off grab it grab it I don't have. Mm-hmm. Alright, I gotta crawl on the floor to plug this up. Don't worry, that's not gonna be on camera. Nobody wants to see that. So let me do that and I'll be right back. No, oh, that's not you. This is you. Hmm. Ha 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 ha. Hacked the mainframe. Soap central. There we go. Workstation's all set up. Oh, and Windows wants to do more stuff. No Cortana. No. So this is my desk area. It's going to be a multi-purpose area. Mainly it's going to be for processing and labeling and all that sort of stuff. I will cut and trim soap over here. It's really nice having a window right in front of me. I have to say that is quite a perk that I know Sam does not have in his office. And I do plan on possibly getting some little succulents or something and putting in the window since I do have the space. 
So since the soap shed has moved out of the house, we were able to take down Angel's old soap curing rack out of our dining room. That was really nice. It was a wooden rack shelf thing that I put together a while back. It was basically one by fours, pretty basic. But once it came off the wall in the dining room, it was quickly snagged by Elijah for his bedroom for him to put all of his Lego creations, model cars, and toys on to display. Worked out pretty good and was a good repurpose of that shelf. On top of the shelf, there was this. More wood. Actually, this was a makeshift quick solution for Angel to store puzzles in our dining room. Back earlier in 2020, say around mid-March, if you follow my drift, we found ourselves having more free time to do things in the house that wanted to kind of get our minds off of current events, and puzzles were our go-to at that point. We amassed quite the collection, and this was a nice shelf in the dining room out of the way that we could store everything and keep it safe and sound. Don't worry, the puzzles didn't go anywhere. They just now have a new home somewhere else in the house that I don't really know where, but that's okay. Angela knows, and that's all we need to know. So what I've been given here is the shelf that held the puzzles out of our house. Angela wants me to take this and use it as the shelf board to make some brackets for to go in the soap shack and let this go above the sink for her to store towels and stuff on. I don't really know. I remember she said towels, and then she said, don't cut it. She wants it this deep and this long. So I have my shelf to work with. I'm gonna get some measurements off of this and then I will go design a pretty cool little shelf bracket, whatever I can come up with in my head. And then we'll load it on the CNC and cut it out. Look who decided to show up in the workshop. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so you are down here and you're gonna witness firsthand the shelf bracket things that I made for you or designed for you. And cross your fingers that it works right. Well, yeah. You never know the first time you make something with a CNC. Um, so, that being said, let's load up the material and... Let's go, but I'm gonna watch. Yeah, let's go watch then. Okay, let's go watch. Let's go watch. It's very pretty. You like it? I do. So I've got to do some more work tomorrow. I think I'm gonna try and put a piece of wood this way to mount it on the wall. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what ideas I have I come up with tomorrow and stuff. But that's a really cool look. I do. I mean, yes, it is. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you like it. I guess you do. Um, anyway, I'm glad that the design actually worked and it all came out fine. So there's some more cleanup work and some more idea stuff. But that's for tomorrow because this took about 45 minutes to cut and it's about 8 o'clock at night and the boys are like done with the day. So that's all for tonight. I thought you were going to throw it. No, <laughs> I could. I mean, it's pretty strong. Yeah, don't throw it. But that's all for tonight and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Let's go guys. Ready to leave? It's the next day. I am back down here in the workshop and I'm going to take my oscillating cutoff tool to go ahead and cut these shelf brackets out of the plywood. When I had these machined, I left little tabs or bridges is what they're really called in the world of CNC. And what they are is little pieces of wood that connect the piece that gets cut out to the actual material you start with so that it doesn't run around, jump, and mess up. So let's go ahead and buzz those things off of here and then we have a lot of sanding to do. A lot of detailed sanding.
I have gone through a couple of iterations of these things <laughs> because I ran into some design flaws with the first set that I made, which are these brackets. These are nice and all, and they're great, but how exactly am I going to attach these to the wall? I didn't leave myself any kind of mountings of the plywood, and there's definitely not enough room to fit any kind of fasteners through here. So those give way to a little bit bigger design. I still didn't have enough room through here. Well, I had room here, but then I had no room down here. And so that finally gave away to this guy. This is the final design. I have tested it and there's enough room to drill holes here and there. And then with these hexagons, these are the widest points. There's enough room for the screws to mount here and here and you can screw it directly into the wall. So third designs, the charm, third time, the charm, whatever. I have two already made. I need to make at least four for one shelf. I have enough plywood to I think make six. So let's go ahead and make as many as I can because I know once I put the first bit up, Angel's gonna like them, they're gonna work good, and I'm gonna want more. So I might as well batch them out while I can while I'm down here in the shop. All right, all the shelf brackets are done. I got my holes pre-drilled. That's how it's gonna mount to the wall. Put my stuff together. We'll go up in the soap shed and install these. Oh yeah, and that other thing I was making, you guys will see it up there too. So we're in the soap shed now, and I've got the inspector general with me here. She's gonna tell me exactly where she wants the shelf, and then we'll go ahead and mount it on the wall. So, exactly where do you want the shelf? Right here. Sounds good to me. <laughs> So to get in tiny places, we have a tiny little ratchet wrench thing. <laughs> ratchet, yeah. And it comes with little bitty bits. I don't think we'll need the bits because I went to the store and got some hex head wood screws. I'll show you the guys in a second. And so we're going to put them in the brackets, put in the wall, and then ratchet the screws into the wall. It'll be a little tedious, you know, you don't, you can't just zip the screws in here like with a drill or anything. But I think in the end it'll be a pretty cool look. I do too. So there's a better look at the bracket. Has hex head screws and a tiny little ratchet. We'll be able to fit this in here and ratchet it into the wall. So you guys will see it here in just a second. We'll shake the wall before it moves. Well, she's done. And it looks like she's going to hold quite a bit of stuff, too. I think it turned out really cute with the honeycomb, honeycomb design. <laughs> 
but I'm mainly wanting this to put my linens on like my towels and stuff because I have to switch those out a lot this gives me enough room I can put a hook for my apron to the side over here since we don't really have enough room otherwise on any of the other walls and then I can put my dry dishes up here too we don't have any stain on it or anything like that no shellac we may add that later just so we don't get any water stains or anything like that on the plywood but otherwise I think it's good and good good and good good and good all right so we have a very down and dirty temporary solution for a paper towel holder I'll come up with a better design that's less labor on changing out the roll but for now I want to give Angel her paper towels in a cool spot and kind of make the place look prettier I guess is what the goal is I don't know so what I did is I got a scrap dowel from the workshop and I used some of the cutouts from making these shelves and I made a simple paper towel holder obviously the issue is <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare to change the rollout when it's done so for now, we'll have to unscrew it, put one on, and re-screw it back in until I get something better figured out. But for now, it works pretty good, and let me demonstrate how it works well. So yeah, just hush and do it, right? It looks great, with the exception of it's going to be a nightmare to change the roll. But hey, it's not my workshop, it's not my problem, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, this is to just ensure that you actually let me back in here every once in a while. Mm -hmm. the, you got to keep me around for usability and uses. So as you can notice, right here, since we already had the tools up here and I had already purchased the hooks, I went ahead and got them to put it up. Oh, you're talking about the apron hook. Okay. Yes. I'm like, I don't know. There's stuff down there. So much. <laughs> that area. That's behind There's my a... head, right here. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Um, I think it's time for a new apron for you though. Yeah. Something that is gives you more coverage. Yes. You know, so you don't dirty your clothes or mess up your pretty jackets and stuff or whatever. Um, and I don't know, it's, you know, yeah. It's seen better days. <laughs> it has. New building deserves new work dibs. Dibs? D what's duds. That? Duds. That's right. Duds. Milk duds. <laughs> Always got to talk about food with me. <laughs> You know, the way to my heart, honey. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, what in the world was Sam doing in the workshop? Uh, you guys don't see it here. I'll try to knock you out. Please don't. I was making a little box, a little crate, as a, hmm, will it work, will it not work? Do you like it? Do you want more of these? I don't know. Here's your crate. <laughs> awesome. I will find a use for it in my desk area. Cool. So these are um, supposed to be stackable, so if we do more than one, the bottom little feet will stack at the top. I don't know if that's interesting or not. I mean, it could also go on the shelf to hold whatever. So, um, it's a pretty cool little thing to make on a CNC. So I figured I'd give you one and you can tell me if you want more or not. Okay. Either way, it's fun to make different stuff on the machine. It is. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Appreciate you guys coming along as you got to see me, you know, do some CNC work in the workshop, making some cool shelves for Angela's room, a paper towel holder that is not very user friendly but still looks nice i don't go through paper towels that quick in here so we're good <laughs> thankfully <laughs> and a little crate so we still have more work to do in here especially down there at the office more organization things more storage ideas so stick around the content's not over we are going to add more shelves we just gotta, have to gotta get creative on that i don't know if our next shelves will be this style i think we're gonna do something a little bit different because those are more specific for your bottles mm -hmm. So, hey, we'll be creative. You guys can come along whenever we show you what we come up with. Thanks for coming along. Leave a... Leave a... Leave a... <laughs> Please don't leave a... <laughs> leave a... <laughs> down below. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment below. We'd love to read them, even if we don't get to all of them. And otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. Bye. 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 <laughs> leave a... <laughs> down below. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> that is about the world's most stout little crate, isn't it?